If you want to learn programming for pen testing, uh, you've come to the right place because in this video I'll share with you my personal experience and how to get started uh, on this journey. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris, uh, I'm a penetration tester and on this channel I make a lot of cybersecurity videos. Now, if you're into that, subscribe and ring the bell to get notified uh, of all my new videos. And if you want to become a pen tester yourself and need one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, now check out the description of this video and get in touch with uh, me. All right, so let's say that uh, you have a general knowledge of cybersecurity and penetration testing and you've actually seen other videos where geeks can write their own code on the go um, and you want to get to the same level of awesomeness. So what do you actually do? Number one, choose your weapon. That is, uh, pick a coding language. Now, I'm going to go with Python here because this is what I taught myself a few years ago. So um, Python is one of the easiest and fastest to learn. It's very popular and you've actually got a ton of free and paid resources to uh, choose from. So if you know nothing about coding, then start uh, with the, the free course Python for Everybody by Dr. Chuck. You can also watch all the videos. So with this course, you can watch all the videos for free as of now, which is September 2019. And if you want to get a certificate of completion to actually acknowledge your achievements, uh, you can pay for that. I believe it would be, I don't know, maybe 35 to 40 bucks a month. But anyway, you can check that out. Now, I personally love um, the way Dr. Chuck teaches. And he's actually the one that got me into coding in the first place. And uh, I've actually met him in New York City a few years ago. So he's a compelling, he's got a compelling uh, charisma indeed. Fellas, also check out my Python basics course that will teach you the fundamentals of Python uh, that you need to get started uh, for penetration testing. And there's a discount link in the description for that. Number two, stack learning methods. So if you feel yourself adventurous and uh, you're the type of person who learns from books, my top three suggestions are a Python crash course, a smarter way to learn Python and automate the boring stuff with Python, which uh, also has free chapters and interactive videos available. Now links in the description for all of them. Also, uh, check out this video uh, in which I give you my top three books for penetration testing. Number three, get your hands dirty. I guess this actually builds on top of number two and on top of actually stacking learning methods. And that is, in my view, the most powerful way to learn something. That is by actually doing it yourself. Monkey see, monkey do. My personal Python learning curve uh, actually skyrocketed when I found platforms such as Solo Learn, which is free, and Code Academy, which is mostly free, uh, which allowed me to actually learn Python by coding stuff myself. Now, there are many others, but the uh, focus, you should actually focus on only uh, on these two, because if you spread yourself too thin, you'll actually get uh, nowhere. Number four, learn the penetration testing methodology. Okay, now that you've got through the basics of the language and you can code decently in Python, you should actually familiarize yourself with the pen testing methodology and all the steps it involves. Number five, with uh, the methodology in mind, you should start reading blogs and watching videos of uh, people actually applying the methodology on intentionally made vulnerable machines. Uh, now, some of my favorite uh, YouTube people are, as you might know so far, Hackersploit, The Cyber Mentor, and Ipsec. They are really super practical in their videos, so look up uh, their channels. Uh, and I've also actually done many walkthrough videos on this channel myself, so look no further than the cybersecurity playlist. Okay, if you like to read instead of watching videos, then do a search for uh, Hack the Box walkthrough or uh, Volnhub walkthrough. Comment down below and let me know how you like these videos and also tell me what other topics uh, you'd like me to approach in future videos. Number six. 
uh, make your own scripts. So once you've seen a couple of walkthroughs, it's time for you to put your practical hat again. So this is really, really important, which is why you should pay very close attention. Okay, now go to VulnHub or Hack the Box and start working on, uh, on an easy vulnerable machine for which there's at least a walkthrough written by someone. Don't watch the walkthrough unless you get really stuck. As you work your way into the machine, build one or more Python scripts that will actually enable you to automate steps in the process. Like for example, could you automate the Nmap scanning process? Or uh, can you write a script that stacks together uh, Nmap scans and vulnerability uh, assessments with Nikto, so all in one uh, script, all in one place, so that you wouldn't actually uh, like do it by hand or do it manually these are only two ideas um, i'm really sure that uh, you're smarter than that and you can come up with more okay now when you're able to actually build your scripts on the go you can feel confident on attacking more complex uh, coding situations for cybersecurity. Now, you might want to join uh, this Discord server I recently created for cybersecurity geeks like you uh, to have a place to hang out and talk about the latest and greatest uh, in the field. And I would really appreciate if you share this video around so uh, that the YouTube algorithm rewards this channel by suggesting these videos uh, to more of us. Thank you for watching.